Hello everyone, just a quick little video here. Uh, there's something that I need to basically discuss and ask of you guys, you know, if at all possible. Uh, so, a little earlier today, I found out that a long term viewer of this channel unfortunately had his workshop broken into and all of his equipment has been taken. So, basically, someone broke into his garage at the early hours of the morning and that took all of his equipment, his hot air, his microscope, his soldering equipment, pretty much everything. He is um, a re retired war vet, uh, so he's been, in, he's been in the army. Uh, I'm, not exactly sure, I'm not exactly sure what he's got, but I do know that he suffers from PTSD, uh, which is post-traumatic stress disorder. I know that he's been in the army, and I know that he does this to keep himself on a level head. Um, I've got family in the army, I know that it can be stressful, not just for him, but for his family as well. Um, but the guy is absolutely devastated and it's really touched me as well, the fact that someone can, you know, save up and, you know, do do whatever they can to try and get all of this equipment together because it's not cheap. So they do whatever they can to try and get all this equipment together and then literally in the blink of an eye, it's just gone. And yeah, it, it, it's just ridiculous. It's an absolute joke. He's contacted the police and the police pretty much, the police are the police. They're not doing anything. Um, they've gave him a crime reference number, which I'll show you in a minute. Um, but other than that, they're not doing anything. So basically, I'm asking you guys if anyone can help, um, whether that be with equipment, whether it be, you know, financially, uh, anything you can do to help this guy get back on his feet and actually get the hobby back that he enjoys, you know, it's really appreciated. I'm going to leave a link to a PayPal donation link in the video description. Um, you know, if anyone can help, you know, it would really, really be appreciated. I think what I'm, pl what I'm planning on doing, I have a microscope which I can give him. It was sent to me as a review unit, but I'm going to be donating that to him. Um, but, you know, if we can raise a little bit of cash as well um, to try and get him back his soldering iron, his heat mat and things like that, I'll show you the list of what's been taken. Um, but you know, if we can, if we can try and help the guy out, try and get his hobby back, um, he does this, like I said, just to keep a level head. He does suffer with post-traumatic stress disorder, and you know, even not even that, it's not even about you know suffering from post-traumatic stress disorder or being in the army or whatever. Uh, it's about the fact that you know we all understand how expensive this stuff is, and we all understand how hard it is to work for it. Uh, I, for one, have worked my ass off for the past two years to try and gather up the stuff that I've got, and I would be I would be absolutely devastated if it was taken away from me. And you know, I can't imagine what the guy's going through. I really can't. But you know, all I can do is try and help. So, like I said, I've got that microscope which I'm going to be reviewing. I'm going to try and get to that the weekend, um, and then I can just give it to him, donate that to the guy. Um, on top of that. Um, I'm going to be donating £20 myself. Um, so I know £20 is not a lot, but if we all chip in, if we all do something to help, then we can, you know, we can try and get, try and get him some help and try and get him the uh, equipment back that he's lost. Because unfortunately, he's not, not only are the police not doing anything, but he's also not insured for the equipment either. So, yeah, he's, you know, it's broken him. It really has. And to be honest with you, it's really upset me as well because... You know, it's so easy to put yourself in their shoes and understand, you know, that this can happen to anyone because it really can. Um, so, yeah, this isn't the normal type of video that I do. Um, you know, I don't usually ask people for help and things like that, but I think this guy deserves it. He's a long-time viewer of the channel. He's been around forever and a day, really has. He's been around forever and a day. He's always active in the community. He's always chatting. He's always friendly. Um, and I just want to do something to help. So if you can do something to help as well, I would really, really appreciate it. Uh, I'm going to show you a couple of posts on Facebook now, um, and then I'm going to wrap it up. Okay, so if you take a look on his Facebook page here, if anybody gets offered of these items, please let me know. A microscope, quick heat, gun, quick heat gun station, fluke multimeter, power bank station, soldering iron, and two PlayStation 4s. Heat mat used for iPhone screens and iPads stolen last night around Banacre Road. Um, you know, if you want to share it, I'm going to share it to my page right now. Um, whoops, uh, head or share it. Oh, I don't use Facebook. Okay, let's post that. So I've just shared that. So if you if you're on my Facebook, you can share that post as well. Um, 
but he did also message me and just showed me well just told me by well first of all he showed me that the police have given him a crime reference number as you can see here um but they're not doing anything they're not going to do anything about it it's the police they never do uh so he's got a crime reference number but that's really not going to help with recovering his stuff um so he said he say, said to me um a scope from a quick heat station a scope from china um which cost 400 pound hako 888 uh cheap chinese heat mat a power bank and flute multimeter that was a birthday present that's that's even worse um and two playstation 4s have he just fixed from watching my channel um yeah i mean we've been talking on discord and that's why i've decided to um obviously make a video on it and try and help the guy out uh yeah i just don't know what to say i really don't so obviously like i said this isn't the normal type of video that I do, but if you can help the guy out, please, by all means, I'll leave a link to PayPal in the video description. Uh, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to see if I can actually get to his house, if, if that's okay with him. Um, when there's enough to actually buy him the equipment, I'll buy the equipment myself. You know, I'll, I'll have it delivered to my address and then I'll go and deliver it in person. Um, and we'll get him a new we'll get him a new workshop set up um hopefully if uh, if you guys can help out with that you know even if it's a pound you know a pound two pound five pound ten pound just doesn't matter it does not matter it all adds it all adds up there's twenty eight thousand five hundred followers on this channel you know if if a hundred people donated five pound that's five hundred pound um you know I, know I know that's a bit much to ask but uh, whatever you can I'll leave a link to my PayPal in the description. Any donations I get through there, uh, any donations that you want to send, please put um, workshop fund uh, or something similar so I know where it's from. Um, and then I'll make sure that money gets to him and we'll try and help him out. Uh, but that's going to be it for now, guys. Thank you very much for understanding. Thank you for listening to this video. Um, I just want to try and get the guy back on his feet. So if you could help out, I would really appreciate it. That's going to be it for now. Thank you very much for understanding. Thank you for watching. I'll see you later. Bye for now.